and I record I record videos in here, and then when people when they comment on there, I'd be like, yeah, this is my living room. This is where I live. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you got fake it till you make it, you know. Welcome back, man. Pressure tips and tricks. We trying to build the barber businesses up, so let's get busy. Let's hop right into it. Today we are going over five tips and tricks on how to be a clean barber. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The first tip on being clean is clean your equipment after every cut. You gotta do every cut, it takes me, bro, I got it down to a science. It takes me like 10, maybe 10 to 30 seconds to clean everything. You don't wanna be spreading germs and, you know what I mean, keep cutting everybody without cleaning your clippers because now you're spreading germs and whatever they got, they got, and then they're gonna get a rash and all, all types of stuff. You don't wanna do that. That's why you wanna clean your clippers every time. But now I'm gonna tell you how to clean your clippers every time. The quickest and fastest way. At the Cool Care, you get your little cleaning brush. It's like the thin one. There's two small barber brushes. The thin one, and it's, it's, it's hard, it's harder. You don't use this brush on any, any head. You only use this one brush to clean your clippers with. You don't use a cleaning brush to brush people's hair with. That's, that's dirty, because you're cleaning off old dead hair, and then you're brushing some, on somebody's head, you don't do that. So you wanna keep this brush, specifically for cleaning your clippers off. I got all my clippers lined up. What I do, I take the brush, and I grab each clipper, I brush all the clippers off first. I'm like this. Turn the client, the client's like this. Grab my brush. I, I'm going down the line, I'm cleaning all my clippers. Anything that I use, you don't have to clean like all your clippers, but whatever you use that last cut that you're cleaning, brush them all off first. Wow, now they all brushed up. Now I go back to the front of the line, I take my cool care and I spray them all down. Now I done brushed it, put the brush down, grab the cool care, now I'm spraying it. I spray it like this. I turn turn the clipper, you know what I mean, back and forth, spray it up and down. Psh, 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 psh. You feel me? It's quick. Rather than you, let me brush this clipper off. Now let me spray it off. Now let me. Now let me brush this clipper. You get what I'm saying? You're gonna keep going back and forth, cleaning one at a time. Whereas if you just brush them all and then you spray them all, then you're done. Spray your comb down, you know what I mean? The pick, whatever you use, you wanna clean it off. I always have a towel. I, ha I hang like a towel out of my pocket like I'm in a game. I'm in a barber game, I'm pressure game. Whatever materials I spray off that doesn't dry like how the clippers do, I spray it, wipe it down with a towel in my pocket. Wow, wipe it down. It's good. When you're in the barber business, time is money. Time is money. So you taking five minutes to clean your clippers off, which is why a lot of barbers don't clean their clippers every time. Because they don't want to take that time. They're rushing. They're, they're, they're late. They're backed up. They need to watch some more pressure tips and tricks to, uh, you know, get their stuff together. It doesn't take that long if you have a good system. My system is you brush them all off, then you spray them all off. It's quick and easy, it might take you 10 seconds. If you're going like this every time, grab the brush, brush it off. Put the brush down, grab the spray, spray it off. Put the spray down, grab the brush. Now spray, do the next one. You're taking too much time. Whereas you could just brush, 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 spray, spray, spray. Spray the combs, wipe them down, bow, we ready. What you getting? All right, come on. You know what I'm saying? You there. Clean your equipment after every single cut and do it fast. Time is money. Step two on how to be a clean barber. Deep clean and oil your clippers daily slash weekly. If you just doing the brush spray down like how I just showed you in step one, you know what I mean? But you're doing that for a month straight, eventually your clippers, they're gonna start having rust in them Excess hair is gonna be staying in there and then you're gonna be rubbing it on other clients' head. You're gonna be spreading germs. You have to do a deep clean daily or weekly. A deep clean is meaning, you know, you take the clippers apart, you spray down the insides, you brush all the hair out the insides, or you get the little tool that you can, you know, clean the insides with. You got the pressure blowers. The pressure blowers, you know, they got that pressure. You know what I mean? The pressure blowers, they're real good because you don't have to, some, most of the time you don't have to take the clippers apart because there's so much pressure through the air, you can like spray the hair out of the inside of the, of the clippers. The little clipper cleaner, you know what I mean? The blade wash, there's like an Andes, it's like blue, or there, there's some other ones where you, you know, my barbers know this, my clean barbers know this, you, you put your clipper in there, 
you turn it on, you submerge it into the liquid, and then the hair comes out when you turn it on. You also want to oil your clippers. The oil is also going to keep your clippers running good, and it's going to keep them clean. But if they're not oiled, they could get rusty. Once they start getting rusty, it's not clean. So now you're rubbing rust and grime and stuff is falling off your clippers onto your client's hair. I deep clean my clippers and oil them once a week. Step three on how to be a clean barber. Sweep. Sweep more. If you sweep, sweep some more. If you're not doing nothing, sweep. You see hair over there, sweep. Sweep. Stop being lazy, go sweep. Guys, we gotta sweep more because I don't know what it is. People think if there's hair all on the ground, we look busy. Got people in there that's too good to sweep. Oh, I'm, I'm cutting the whole time. I ain't sweeping. Oh, he's the new kid. He got to sweep. I ain't doing that. That's not my job. I ain't here. I, I don't get paid to sweep. You want to be a clean barber, you had to have a clean environment. Sweep. We got dudes paying thousands of dollars for their shoes. They're wearing Balenciagas and Alexander McQueen's and all this. You got retro Jordan and Nike. Like, people don't want to get their they shoes dirty. You got women that come in and they got flip flops on and stuff, and then you know they stepping all on hair. Hair might touch their their foot and all that. Oh, it's a barber shop. Dude. They should expect that. Nah, bro, sweep. We got one of them little machines that uh, it sucks the hair up. So maybe y'all should, you know, another little side tip. You can get one of them. It's like a little machine. All you all we do is sweep the hair to the machine. Then you press the button on the machine, and the machine sucks all the hair up. Kids don't always just sit around and do nothing, right? They're gonna be playing. They're gonna be running around, doing dumb stuff, playing catch, walking here, walking there. They're kids. They do kid stuff. So you got kids rolling and, and playing on the ground or walking around, getting hair all over them. And then they're gonna get in trouble because they got hair all over them because they didn't sit down. You're literally making the kid get in trouble by not sweeping. Now that kid's gonna get a, a little spanking because you ain't sweeping. Come on, just sweep. That's how you be a, a more clean barber. You gotta, you gotta sweep the hair up. It's not, it's not too good for anybody. Nobody's too good to sweep. Tip number four on how to be a clean barber. Get yourself some blow off machines that blows hair away. You need that. If you got the pressure blower, when you press the button and it, it blows out uh, you know, air really fast. We got vacuum cleaners. They have a blow and a, and a suck option. Blow and suck. A vacuum it can suck it up but if you switch it, it'll blow air out so we got vacuums next to our stations just vacuum cleaners people are like what about then you turn it on you blow all the hair out you blow the hair off your client you blow the hair out from behind the station a lot of these barbers don't clean up behind them stations i know i don't you know why i don't clean up behind my station because i take my vacuum and i blow out behind there i don't even got to go behind there i just blow all the hair out and then, I, and then I sweep it. Even if you have a blow dryer, use your blow dryer. Blow your client off, blow the hair off their neck, off the cape. Make it easier on yourself. You got a blower machine, you blow the hair out of the way. So then when you sweep, it's, it's just all right there. You against the wall, you got to blow up against the wall. If the wall's right here and you blowing like this, the air bounces off of the wall and bounce, ricochets this way. Now the hair is coming out. It helps being clean a lot. It makes sweeping and cleaning up not as hard. So, uh, you know, that's a good tip on, on being clean. Get yourself some blower machines. Tip five on how to be a clean barber. Last but not least, guys, y'all got to have some daily or weekly chores. I'm talking about like, yeah, when you was growing up and your mama said, wash them dishes. Y'all got to have the same mindset for yourself in your business. You have things and tasks that you need to do every day. Sweeping. This includes taking the trash out. You got to take the trash out every night because if you leave food in there overnight, you know, you might attract bugs, you might attract flies, stuff like that. So you got to take the trash out every night. Clean the mirrors, clean the windows. That should be like a daily thing. You know what I mean? Keep everything clean. Wipe down all the surfaces. A clean barber don't just mean what you're using is clean. You want your area to be clean. Somebody walk into your barbershop or your suite and it's just dirty as shit in there. How do you think they're gonna feel good in their haircut? If it, 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 it's just dirty everywhere. Your clippers are clean, your equipment is clean, but they looking around, they see dirt ball. We got a leaf blower. Yeah, a leaf blower that gardeners use. Plug the leaf blower into the little extension cord, and I'm walking around, blowing all the hair away. 
and I open the door, I blow all the hair outside. I take the leaf blower, go to every station, blow behind the station, blow behind all the tables, blow, blow the couch off, blow the chairs off, because even though we sweep and we do our daily chores, we sweep and we take the trash out and stuff, there's still stuff that we miss sometimes over a week buildup. So I take that leaf blower once a week and I go and blow the whole shop down. We sweep every day, but we don't mop every day, right? But we might mop once a week to, you know, get that floor smell nice, get that floor nice and shiny. If not mopping, you, you know, your floor might start, you know, building up gulk or it might start to stink. That's like another a weekly chore type of thing. In order to be a clean barber, you gotta have some weekly and daily chores, things that you don't wanna do that you, you gotta clean up. You gotta clean up your, your area, your environment. You got tables and stuff, daily you should be wiping it down. Mirrors, wipe them down daily. Trash, take it out daily. Mop, weekly. Deep clean, weekly. If somebody walks into your space and your space is dirty, what are they gonna think? That's five tips and tricks on how to be a clean barber. Guys, let me know what you think. Make sure y'all lock in, build your barber business up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, comment below any topics you guys want me to talk about. Let's get busy. Let's keep building. Peace out.